From the saucy 70s box set by 88 Films is The Sex Thief from 1973. The most curious aspect of this one is that it's directed by Martin Campbell. The same man that did GoldenEye, the same man that did Casino Royale, the same man that did The Green Lantern. Uh, yeah, weird. <laughs> really weird. I don't want him to think he's got away with everything. It's a sex comedy from uh, the 70s. And just that alone had me a little bit worried. Because of the recent Adventures box set that I checked out, I know that there can be some good ones in this and there can be some pretty bad ones as well. Thankfully, I kind of enjoyed The Sex Thief. It jumps into its plot, it's fairly simple. Uh, uh, Grant Henry, played by David Warbeck, is a cat burglar slash author who likes to rob jewels from women. The kind of thing is, is he's really kind of crap at it um, and keeps getting caught. I'm terribly sorry. So the women are happy to allow him to take the jewels as long as he fulfills certain other needs that they have. Um, in fact, it gets to the point where women are actually advertising the fact that they have jewellery and leaving it out on show, hoping that they are going to get robbed at one time or another. And that's kind of the driving force of this one. He's subsidising his wages and his lifestyle by robbing uh, these women and having lots of sex along the way. Yeah, uh, It's a kind of fun movie. It's just there for like titillation, for giggles. No, please. Please, no. Yes. Uh, there's plenty of kind of fun characters that I really enjoy, uh, particularly one character who is a friend of Grant's who invites him out to come and watch the wrestling with him. Um, but Grant decides that, no, I'm just going to go to your house and rob you instead. And there's this intercut playful nature with this wrestling sequence as we watch the two men wrestle and we then watch Grant and the man's wife wrestle as well, if you know what I mean. And just the really intercut moments of this just are tremendously funny, outlandish, over the top, and there is zero subtlety about it whatsoever, which, you know what? It is what it is. Why try and hide it? It, uh, it was kind of fun. Baby, I wouldn't have believed it, but you've come up with something at last. Then there is the aspect of trying to figure out who is this cat burglar. So we have the police coming into this one, uh, dealing with the insurance companies and trying to figure out what the hell is going on, or is it the insurance investigators? One way or another, I wasn't paying that much attention because it never really grabbed me that much, but uh, yeah, we, we get to have these characters investigating and trying to set up a trap for the sex thief. What we need is some kind of plan where we can catch the burglar in the act. Which act? It's a product of its time. It's weird that this was such a staple of 70s cinema, how it became such a thing, why there were so many familiar faces in these movies and why they became uh, such a weird kind of trend. There's something strangely fascinating about that. The Sex Thief, I thought, was remarkably entertaining. Kind of funny, kind of silly, had some really fun moments. The plot to it is almost immaterial. It's all about just getting our hero into situations where he can have lots and lots of sex. The film's called The Sex Thief. It's from a box set called The Saucy 70s. What more would you expect? Yeah, let's jump in, have a little look at the extras on this disc. So here we are in the disc for The Sex Thief. Let's go to the special features. We have an audio commentary with Kim Newman and Barry Forshaw. We have To Catch a Thief, an interview with Michael Armstrong, who wrote the movie. This is 11 minutes, 10 seconds. It talks about how he ended up getting the job uh, and some fun shenanigans went on during the making of it. We have the overseas version, intro only, from hardcore version of The Sex Thief, which was called A Handful of Diamonds. Um, it's basically the same opening you see at the start of the movie, but with pseudonyms replacing the actors because they turned it into a hardcore film. This is uh, 2 minutes 53 seconds. And next we have It Must Be Burglary Making the Sex Thief. 
which is 32 minutes and 5 seconds. Um, talking to several people who were part of the production team, it's actually uh, quite anecdotal, it's fun, it's interesting and it's really surprising that they managed to dig up these people uh, for this making of altogether fairly interesting. And that's the extras for The Sex Thief. So there we go, The Sex Thief, part one of my three uh, part review of the Saucy 70s box set. Look out for the next part soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.